Okay, next in our quick little lessons, we've recognised the features of 2D shapes before. We're looking at that one before you look at this one, please. Now we're looking at the features of 3D shapes. Okay, 3D shapes. And you can see there's a collection of 3D shapes on the board. I'm not always the best person at drawing 3D shapes. At the end of the video, I will show you how to make a cube though. So, with 2D shapes, we were looking for sides and corners. Now we're looking for something a little bit different when it comes to 3D shapes. With the 3D shapes, we are looking for faces, faces, what are we talking about there? We are looking for edges, and we are looking, and this is the, uh, the tricky one, we're looking for vertices, vertices, faces, edges, and vertices. Well, don't worry, we're gonna work out what all of those are now, the 3D shape. A face, as you can imagine, is this kind of big area. Think about your face, it's a big area. Well, on a 3D shape, we're talking about the big area on it, okay? So how many faces does the 3D shape have? Different 3D shapes have different number of faces. Let's get a cube, because that's our first shape on here. This here is a face. A face, a face, a face, a face. One, two, three, four, five, six. The cube has six faces. Now on here, you can only see one, two, three faces, but if you imagine that that actually would also so go back like that, probably see there's one, two, three, and then four, five, six behind it. It's quite tricky to work out the number of faces when you draw it, but certainly when you've got it, it's quite obvious you've got one, two here, and then three, four, five, six. You might be working trying to find a cube in your house whether you've got a dice or something like that. I'll tell you what you will have probably in your house is some sort of cuboid, which is this shape. Now with a cube, uh, the faces are all, uh, well, they look like squares, don't they? All the same size. Cuboid is a little bit different. The uh, faces are different sizes. We'll look at this in a bit more detail in a second. I know you'll probably have a cuboid in your house because I bet in the kitchen you've got a box of cereal. That's a cuboid. Or you might have a little uh, box of soup or it could be any sort of thing. So I bet you there's a cube that you can find. It might be quite useful to go and find a, a cube now to have a look at it. Same number of faces as well. So the faces are the flat surfaces. If we take, um, um, this is always an interesting one, the sphere, I can't draw a sphere. People are often asking me how many faces this has got. How many faces do you think a sphere's got? Well, it's just got the one, one big face all the way around it. Very tricky shape. Wherever you look at it, it looks the, exactly the same, doesn't it? We'll look at that as well. So faces, we understand this, faces. Um, let's have a look at the next one, edges. I bet this one's quite easy. The edge are these straight lines on the 3D shape. So this here is an edge along here. Yeah, this is an edge, an edge, an edge. So all these bits that you think might cut your finger when you touch them, these are all edges. Can you see edges, 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 okay? So uh, a little bit like on the 2D shape, we might call them sides, but on a 3D shape, we're gonna call them edges. So how many edges does this cube have? Well, it might actually have quite a few edges. So it's gonna take me a while to work this out. One, two, three, four here. And I've got five, six, seven, eight. And at the back I've got nine, 10, 11, 12. I've actually got 12 edges on this shape. I'm always skeptical when I say that, but I might have got it wrong. Uh, but there they are, 12 edges on the shape. Same number of edges on this shape. So do we think we're okay with edges? Edges are the, the, the flat lines. There's, often there's more edges than faces. Not always. And vertices. Vertices, these are the points where lines come together. Now remember, with a 2D shape, lines will only ever come together in two dimensions. But on a 3D shape, we have this extra dimension that comes out at us. So there's my flat 2D shape. On a 3D shape, I have this third dimension. Okay, so a vertices is, is kind of a point on a shape. So this would be a point, 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 and there's probably a secret point that you can't see back there. So let's have a look at how many points there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, interesting. So if I take a cube, and we do this, F, E, V, for faces, edges and vertices. I know that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
faces, edges, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 edges, vertices, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, gosh, all different numbers, okay, for different shapes. I'll just run through what a few of these uh, shapes are. I've got here, this one is a sphere. We've got um, this shape, I don't actually have a, a version of it, but a circular bottom that comes to a point, it's called a cone, think about an ice cream cone that you might eat. Okay, how many faces has it got? Well, it's got one face at the bottom and then a second face that wraps all the way around. So it's only got two faces. Vertices, well, it's only got one vertices where the lines come together as well. And uh, edges, well, it's actually only got one edge, quite an unusual shape. We've got over here, think about this as the Toblerone. This is a triangular prism, okay? So if I draw the back of my prism on, I can work out it's got one, two, and then three, four, five faces. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine edges, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. This is another shape that you'll definitely have in your house. It is a cylinder, okay? It's got a circle on the top and the bottom. Okay, if you think about these, these are parallel lines. They're not going to meet at any point. So how many faces do we have? So these are the flat sides. So I've got one here, I've got one here, and then I've actually got another one that wraps all the way around it, so I've got three faces. How many edges have I got? Well, I've got one edge here, and I've got one edge here as well. And how many vertices have I got where points come together? Well, not really got any vertices on this shape. Okay, so, well, what I'd like you to do, part of your homework, I want you to go around the house and there are going to be loads of 3D objects. What I'd like is a photo of a 3D object and I want you to name what the 3D object is and I want you to tell me how many faces, edges and vertices it's got and I want you to email that over to me. Any problems you've got it, then uh, just email me and ask. Now I did say I'd show you how to make a 3D shape at the end of this when just drawing. It's quite simple really, this is my tactic. What I do for a cube, I'll draw one cube and do it in pencil so you can write stuff out. One cube, but well, not one cube, one square, sorry. Then I'll draw a little bit further back, a second square, like this, okay? And then what I need to do is just draw the lines together. So line together, line together, line together, line together. And there, I've got myself my cube. I can either leave it like that, and it's unusual because I don't know whether it's popping out at me or going in at me, or um, should you want, oh, I'm getting confused looking at it. I could uh, rub these bits out, couldn't I? And make it look a bit more like a traditional box. Okay, that's how I would draw one. So, photos, 3D objects, how many faces, edges, and vertices has it got? Off you go.